Okay, we're going to take a look at an app called Abilipad. And before I get into this, just a little about the app uh, that is is one of my all-time uh, favorite apps that I've had the pleasure to um, take a look at. Uh, it's so versatile, but some of the things that uh, this app does is, you know, word prediction, text-to-speech. Um, you can highlight the words as they're spoken. It comes in 20 different uh, natural sounding a cappella voices, American, British, French, German, Spanish, Catalan, and Australian. Uh, has an AAC option where it can speak the words on the screen. Voiceover accessible, you, you can use a Bluetooth keyboard with it. Um, and, and just so much more. This app is just an incredible app. And uh, once you take the time to learn how to use it properly, the, the uh, possibilities are endless. So let's have a look at the. Um, what we've got here, when we open up the app, it opens up on uh, notepads or keyboards. And we're going to start off by looking at keyboards. And before I go into any other information on the screen, I'm just going to show you um, what this app is capable of. So if we just open up one keyboard here, this was a keyboard I created very quickly. It took me about two minutes, uh, just basically uh, showing days of the week. So I changed the keyboard into this sort of layout here. Now, if I go back out to the keyboard, and we click on new keyboard, you'll see that you get a bunch of blank spaces just like you have uh, a regular keyboard. And at the top, you've got all of the characters that you can choose from. So one very cool thing about this is you can do many things. So if you highlight two cells, you can actually merge them and then you can continue to do so like this and create any amount of shapes on the page that you like. So if I wanted to just keep going here and, and create something um, along the top. You can then merge these and you get a long one. You can also just continue to keep merging to create whatever it is you like. Now you can type on these cells if you want to. If I type hello, I can click on this and simply increase the size of that font there. Uh, if I go on to color, you've got the text, the background, and the grid. So I can change the text color to pink if I want to. Okay, I can change the background color to green. And I can change the entire grid color, which is this down here, to uh, anything I want, which is brown right here. But we'll put that back on white. Um, and we can leave it like that if we want to. And you can come back out off of that. Another very cool feature is once you highlight it, you'll see it comes up in blue. But if you change the font by simply scrolling through, you'll see that that font changes to whatever you want it to be. You can um, do very cool things such as include pictures on your keys if you want to, simply by touching this. Oops. Touching this iPad library or Abilipad library. Abilipad comes with a certain amount of pictures for you to choose from, but now that appears on your key, so you could uh, use that within the conversation. You could um, uh, join words, uh, join any of these, and have um, it speak. So if you typed in I like, for example, whoops, I space like. That will appear in there. And if you want to record it, you just do this. I like. I like. So when we use this keyboard later on uh, within the app, um, when you touch this, it will actually say the word I like. So lots of different things you can do on creating keyboards here. You can also, um, you know, if you don't want these keys uh, to be involved or part of the setup. You can delete anything you want anywhere at any time uh, to have it set up anywhere you like. So let's go and have a look. Now I've shown you how to kind of play with and edit the keyboards. Let's go and have a look at some of the, um, and of course you can go to uppercase and lowercase by doing this and go a step back and so on over here and delete right there. Um, one final thing, let me just show you very quickly before we go back. If I join those and I highlight and I click this one, it splits the cell back up. Okay, so when you go back to the home screen, you'll see that it now saves that keyboard automatically. So when I click on it, it'll bring me back to that keyboard and I can do anything I like to it, edit and so on. Um, going back out. So let's have a look at some of the keyboards that um, you can create. 
One great thing about this app is that you can go to the website and download sample keyboards uh, for you to just kind of fill in the blanks. So if we just click on this one, um, it's already set up for you. So all you have to do is click on it and fill it in with whatever it is you like, either a picture or a saying or a color or whatever it is, um, and it's easily um, uh, it's easily uh, changed just like that. And then when you go back out, you'll notice that that has changed to that color. And there's a bunch of different samples there. One of the um, one of my favorite uh, types of keyboards are these ones. Um, where you're working on the AR sound. So for example, when we use this in the notepad, and I'll show you later, you could put the C, and a C would appear, and then press AR, and it will make the word car. Um, you can use this to create uh, very simple um, things, uh, such as yes, no, uh, hello, goodbye. Any, anything you can think of, you can basically create with this app to appear uh, in the keyboard down below. It really is very, very versatile. Um, and the more you play with it and the more you use it, uh, the more addicted you get to actually um, wanting to set things up. This was um, one set up by Jane Farrell, who's based in Australia, but this is silly stories. So you get to choose one from here, one from here, one from here, and one from here, when we're in the notepad screen, and you can create a story um, just using those sorts of things and I'll show you that when we go out there. So if you wanted to add, just one final thing, if you wanted to add something to um, the page, if you wanted to create a new folder for example, um, a new keyboard I should say, it will show up here. You can also click edit um, and what you can do is if you want to put a, one of the keyboards into one of the folders, you simply just drag it into that folder um, and then it will appear. You can rename the folder anything you want just simply by doing this. We'll just call it new. No, not news, new. And we'll return. And we'll click done, I should say. And you'll see that that folder is now called new and the keyboard we put in there uh, will appear. So you can organize it however you want to do that. Um, this arrow up here, if we click on the arrow that's pointing down, takes you to the website and lets you download um, uh, all, all of these sort of sample uh, uh, keyboards for free. Um, the entire thing is free and that's the great thing about this is that um, everything you create you can share around the world with other people. Um, you can, you can uh, take them from Dropbox or the Abilipad library. So um, that's a quick intro into the keyboards. Uh, now let's go and have a look at notepads. Okay, so if we click the notepad key, uh, you'll notice that you get kind of like a page that is very similar to a blank page. Um, let's go ahead and create a new one. So we've got a new notepad here and what happens when you pull it up is you get the standard QWERTY keyboard at the bottom. So this is where the text recognition comes in. So if I start to type with an H, you get um, common things popping up here. If I type in hello and then type that, um, I can speak that by simply pressing Hello. the button at the top. Um, I could also put a period after it. Hello. And then it will speak. Go back to the next line. You can also double tap the space bar. If I, so if I say... Um, good day to... You can see the prediction coming up here. Good day to you. Um, I'll double tap. Good day to you. And you'll see that it'll speak that. Now, if you want to speak the entire conversation. Hello. Good day to you. You can do that. If you click on the wheel right here, uh, while we're in this, you can change the voices from all of these different options. And it's really amazing how uh, authentic the Spanish and the German and French, the foreign language voices sound when you start to use them. Um, we're not going to go into that for the demonstration, but they really are great. You can share your work by email or printing it out. You can go into uh, preferences and you can change it from speak the words as you type or speak the keys as you type. We're just going to leave this as it is right now. Word prediction on or off, spell check, AAC mode and so on. You can increase the rate of speech or slow it down and external links you can turn on or off if you don't want the kids or the people using it to go to the website. Um, so let's go back out of here, back into this. Now, let's say I want to use this notepad or notebook we just created, and if you press the X, you'll clear the whole screen, with a different keyboard instead of the regular QWERTY keyboard. 
um, you simply click on this again you click keyboards and then you get all of your keyboards coming up okay so let's have a look at the silly stories uh, the one I was telling you about so we can now do this Once upon a time a sad monster took a train to the beach and sat on a toadstool. And then you can create that uh, story. Now one other thing I really like is the ability to um, increase pages. So what this does is allows you to do this. Now if we go back out, you'll see at the top there we've got four dots. So if I had four different students that wanted to use this, I just go to student two. Long, long ago, a sad monster traveled to the moon and wet his pants. I forgot to put spaces in, but you get the idea. Go to student three. Let me show you this. On a dark and stormy night, a hungry lion traveled to the moon and kissed a snake. Okay, so you get the idea, and you can create as many students as you like. What you can also do when you go back out to the pages is you can do... Um, you can add pictures. So if I highlight this, uh, I can do everything I could everywhere else. Change the font size if I want to increase it on the page. Change the type of font that is being used on the page if I want it to look slightly different. Change the color um, of the uh, text if I want. I can change the background of the page even um, uh, if I want to do that. Um, including a picture, a Billipad, Billipad library. You can click on there and you'll see that the little symbol shows us that we've got a picture there. So when we go back out, you'll see we've now got a picture. So you can import a picture, have whatever keyboard you want here, or just the QWERTY keyboard, and the kids could basically make up a story about that picture. So I'm telling you, the, the possibilities of educating kids with this app are endless. It really is fantastic. Um, I could probably talk about it all day, but we don't have time to talk about it all day. Uh, adding um, uh, new uh, notepads to certain folders is very simple. You just go into the edit, and again, you drag them into the folder that you want them to be in. You click done. Uh, like I said, that's downloading and so on. And let's have a look at one more. Uh, way that you can use this. So this was the yes no example. We're on a totally new notepad here. Yes. And because no, I uh, basically created those keys to talk as I touch them, uh, it can be used as a communication device to do that. Let's have a quick look at some other keyboards we've got here. And there are so many possibilities with this. Uh, this is the uh, the word family. So example, type that bad and how many words can they create using this bad bad so you get the idea now within this word category you've got lots of different keyboards built in so the folders you create and the keyboards you add to those folders you simply include them in here and you can use any of them within the same map lesson and again, if you wanted to add students to this, you simply click on pages and you add the pages on here. So you can have as many students as you like creating stories within, uh, within this lesson using the different keyboards. So they can switch between keyboards and you can switch between students. So a very quick demonstration of a Billipad, a brilliant app. Um, just amazing to use and I'm, I'm telling you once you start to use this app uh, it, it, it just is, is is a pleasure you can use it with a Bluetooth keyboard like I said um, and one amazing thing is that you can even go onto a notepad and you can use your clipboard so if you have text from uh, a school book or a, a web page that you want to talk uh, you simply um, go to a, a, a blank page and hold your finger on the page if you had something on your clipboard and copy and paste it onto the iPad and then it would speak the text for you. So uh, again, you know, like I said, possibilities are endless. It's a really great app. Please take a look. Um, and again, you know, let the developer know what you think, but uh, it really is great if you take the time to learn how to use it. 
And that's a quick uh, demonstration of a billipad.